Welcome back fellow coders, Jared O'Leary here with Boot Up. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create costumes for animations. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to add in a sprite. I added in this Jordan sprite. It has multiple costumes. Now, when you add in the sprite, you wanna make sure the button says convert to bitmap. This will allow you to move different parts of the sprite without having to move the whole thing. If it were in bitmap mode like this, I can't move different sprites. Let me undo that. Like you can when it is in vector mode. So in vector mode, I can actually move the different parts of the costume, but in bitmap mode, I cannot. So let me put this back. So first thing you're going to do is you're actually going to rename each one of the costumes. So for instance, I wanna make this one the start for the kick costume. This one will be the run costume. We'll make this the stand with arms out. And this one's gonna be stand with arms at side. Okay, now once you've uh, named your costumes, you're going to make a smooth animation for the full kick. So for right now, all we have is one uh, cell or one costume for our kick. So we're going to right click and duplicate. And so now we have two. And we're going to make a very small adjustment to this, like make it so that the leg is a little bit further down. So from here to here. And then we're going to right click this new costume and duplicate. And then we're gonna make one more very small motion, like maybe that and that. And you're going to keep doing this over and over. Once you've got a bunch of different costumes for a single animation, when you put them all together, it'll switch between them really fast and then it'll make it look like it's actually moving. So for example, in the Jordan sprite that I made for the It's Alive uh, project, although it only started with four costumes, there are actually now 48 costumes. So when we look at the kicks, there's actually 20 different kick costumes in here. So if we start on the very first one, it's actually very slowly moving the arms, the mouth, and the legs when kicking. Now, when you put all these together, it'll make it look like a nice smooth uh, kick. So to do that, I actually went into my costume and I made a bunch of different functions. So I went to my blocks and I made blocks and I called them the different uh, functions like kick or run or watch or whatever. So any kind of animation you're gonna do, you're going to turn it into a block. Then all you have to do is add in code where you start with whatever costume you're going to um, start with and then you switch the costume. So you can switch the costume really fast. You can wait a little bit. You can switch forward and then switch backward. There's many different ways that you can switch between these animations. Now below this video, there's actually a link to the It's Alive project. And when you open it, you can test out each one of these functions. So if you wanna know uh, how I made it so that it did the kick motion, you can click on this and you'll see the Jordan sprite kicking because it starts with kick and then it switches uh, 19 costumes. You can see what the run function does you can see what the jump up and jump down functions do, and then you can even see what happens when you run the goal. So in your own project, if you wanna create custom animations, you will start with a sprite that allows you to move the different parts of it. It's gonna say convert to bitmap, and you're going to name it with whatever animation you're going to do, use. And then you're going to create functions for each one of the animations that will start with the first costume that you wanna use and simply switch to costumes and maybe add in some other stuff like changing X or Y position. So have some fun creating some lifelike animations in Scratch and know that whatever costumes you start out with with a, a sprite, you can always add more. Hey everyone, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not watching us on YouTube, you can find us on that platform as well as other social media outlets by searching for Boot Up PD. And if you're looking for more free lessons, projects, and resources for teachers and students, visit us at bootuppd.org, where you can also learn about our high-quality professional development.